Myth number two, profit first. It doesn't work. It's just, I don't know, a sham. It's a gimmick. It's just the latest <laughs> fad. So what are you going to say? What are you going to say about that? Wow, it doesn't work. It, it actually cannot. It's a possibility if you don't do it right and thinks it doesn't work. But it will work. And I think one of the points on that one, which Wade reminded me earlier, is when somebody says that, kind of the first question we say, well, how did that go for you? And they'll say, well, I didn't try it because it doesn't work. It's like, well, how can you say it doesn't work if you haven't tried it? So most of the people that are saying it doesn't work are people that that have not tried it. And I think they say that in earnest probably because they're thinking the technical parts of accounting. And it's a psychologically based, or what do they say, a, a behaviorally based cash flow system. It's not an accounting system. And it's based on psychology and behavior and getting you to have better habits and I like, for me personally, it, it sort of hits that panic stop button. Like don't spend something because it's in those things because you, you have those smaller accounts. And it, it really does work for me, especially when I see an inexpense account. And it, for me, it's really small compared to my overall cash. You know? And it really panics me over and over again to be in that rhythm of seeing that. Works for me. You know, how about you, Wade? I mean, it definitely worked for me. In the last couple of years since I've implemented I've never taken home as much money. Some people take different forms of it. They create a building account or they read the book and they half do it. They do pieces of it. They try to create their own system and it doesn't work and they don't understand why. And it's because they're not really following it. Or maybe they try to set their allocation percentages by the book when they first started and they say, I can't do this. Something goes wrong and then they need to steal from their vault account or whatever to keep going. That, that happens, but part of what working with somebody like Robert and myself on this is starting slow and starting smart. And if you jump in with both feet and then just get poor results, think about why. And think about maybe reaching out to somebody like Rob to get some help on this. You know, that's a great point because profit first still does not create your profit. Your business creates the profit. I tell people when they call, I say, profit first does not print money. It's not a counterfeit printing machine. It's a system that helps you in your business. You still have to do the work in your business. And you have to have a viable business. And you have to create the sales. You have to do all these things to make profit first work. It doesn't work by itself. It's a scaffolding around your business that helps you build that business and build those profits. So profit first is just the system. You still have to run your business. It just helps you run your business and it helps you be aware of your business. If the business model you have is not viable, profit first won't fix that business model. It'll help you find more viable business. So profit first in itself does not make the profit. It helps you be very keenly aware on a short term basis, not just the long term basis of your financials. I ran into that a lot. There's a lot of discussion about the long term benefit of the financials and the short term benefit of profit first. So it keeps you in the here and now. 